Hey everyone, David Burgess here with Keller Williams Realty. I'm here today on the very busy Balm Road, County Road 672, and they've just broken ground on the newest high school in South Riverview, South Hillsborough County. So, I wanted to show you where exactly it is and which surrounding neighbourhoods and communities are going to be affected most by it and are being rezoned for this school. Okay, so yeah, here I am in South South Riverview and I really am as far South Riverview as I can get. Actually, where I'm standing right now is technically Waimama. So one side of, of Barn Road is Waimama and the other side is Riverview. Uh, where the school is behind me, that is going to be Riverview. That is zip code 33579. And it's just next to South Fork Lakes, which is um, a very nice uh, new community with a few builders like MI and Lennar, DR Horton. Um, and it's just beside there, over the road from Ayersworth, um, and yeah, it's just in a, a very growing and expanding location um, and this high school really is much needed. Um, you may have heard of it, for some reason it's called High School TTT for now. I don't know why, I'm assuming they're going to change the name of it to something a bit more imaginative. Uh, but if you Google uh, High School TTT, um, you'll see a couple of other videos uh, from the county um, just talking about the, the location and, and that kind of thing from a... Uh, from a county standpoint so mine's on a more local level i live right around the corner um, and and i just wanted to basically do this video just to show you where it is um, and then to also um, basically show you the communities and hoas that it's going to be affecting around it so you've got south fork um, and south fork lakes um, and basically Ayersworth and belmont that are right there in front of it um, but then you, it's going to affect other other areas such as triple creek and waterleaf but i've broken this video up into two sections the first being this very loud um, <laughs> video where uh, there's all these trucks behind me uh, but just to show you whereabouts it is and, uh, and now I'm going to jump over to a map which is going to show you exactly which school zones from East Bay and Leonard um, that are going to be rezoned to high school TTT and a very small minority of um, Duran and Newsom which are also going to be rezoned from the really rural parts too so yep yeah, here it is high school ttt right behind me i'm going to jump over now to uh to the warmth of my office as it's pretty cold out here at the moment and uh, if you have any questions to do with this neighborhood um, of where it's going of this road this area please reach out to me uh, like i said i live right around the corner and i'll be very happy to help thanks so much okay so here we are uh, this is the proposed boundary map according to Hillsborough County Public Schools and their website. So um, here we are, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit um, and just start, I'm really focusing on um, the HOA communities within this section. Uh, you know, this this blue, these blue areas here are coming down from Lithia and, and Valrico, Durant and Newsom, and there, you know, th there's no HOA communities here, so this isn't as affected as the majority of people will be in this green and orange section. Um, so, you know, as I say, I'm starting in, the, I'm really focusing on the HOA communities and starting on this, starting in the green section, uh, we're, we're south of Big Ben Road. So, if you if you if you're familiar with South Riverview. Um, you know, the uh, we're, we're, we're looking at this Big Bend area west of 75, west of 301 even, predominantly west of 301, a little bit west of 75. Um, but starting from east to west, up here we have uh, Triple Creek. That is going to be coming down to TTT. Um, and then uh, Waterleaf, which is just, a, just right around the corner. Um, that is coming down to TTT as well. And then South Fork, this whole built up area just underneath um, Big Ben Road it is South Fork. You've got all the new homes that are going to be affected. You know, when you go in there, you'll see all the flags, uh, KB, Lennar, um, the new Meritage homes, uh, Centex, uh, you know, homes by West Bay and the Reserve, that all this section here. And even the older South Fork homes um, that were built sort of 10, 12, 13 years ago, um, that is all um, coming down to TTT as well. And, you know, the, the cut through road here, Clement Pride Boulevard, that is going to take you right there. So you wouldn't have to go out onto 301. Um, if you were to cut through, there's a couple of ways you can cut through here, uh, but that is going to be the main road. And that Clement Pride Boulevard 
Boulevard, um, takes you through to South Fork Lakes, which is the closest kind of community to, um, uh, you know, to the school. Uh, so, you know, so South Fork Lakes is MI, um, that's MI Homes, Lennar Homes and DR Horton, right on its doorstep, pretty much walking distance to the school. Uh, and then just come in that bit further west, which is technically Ruskin. This is Belmont. And that is going to be right over the road from 301 to the school too. So that really covers the bulk of the of the green section. Coming in, coming over to the orange, uh, we have um, Ayersworth, which is right over the road. And all of this is Wine Mama, by the way. This is all Wine Mama down here. Um, and, you know, coming onto Sun City, really. But um, this is Ayersworth. This is Vista Palms down here. And then we have the new Crystal Lagoon community, which is um, South Shore Bay. So um, that is the main bit of this. You know, like I said, there's a lot of non-HOA homes and non-deed restricted communities that cover this rural part of uh, Waimama too. They'll all be going up to TTT. Uh, so coming, so heading west on 19th, um, you've got Cypress Creek here um, and west of 301, um, going right the way up to just under 75. Um, Cypress Creek and Cypress Mill. Cypress Mill is like brand new. Um, the model has just gone in there um, and they um, will be all going over to TTT as well. And finally, this red section, that isn't being affected by TTT, but they are, I think that is Mirror Bay, that is not Mirror Bay, that is Harbour Isles over the road from Mirror Bay. Uh, and they're going to East Bay up here, just over the road from Waterset. Um, and they're coming away from Leonard, which is further south. So I hope that all makes sense. Um, um, like I said, it's only proposed at the moment. Uh, you know, I'm, I'd actually be very surprised if they do move away from this in any way. I mean, I would assume that 99.9% .9 of this is is there to stay. Um, but who knows what will happen over the next year and a year and a half. So, um, so yeah, you know, please confirm this with the community itself if, if they're building in there um, for them to double check. Uh, and if you're a, an existing homeowner, just check with the county um, just to make sure. But this looks like the the, the boundaries that are, <laughs> that are going to be put in place, um, and hopefully that that benefits you and and favours you. So uh, if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out. All my contact information is below, uh, and there's a couple of videos there too which are more that are directly from the county so i hope you found this helpful thanks so much